Hey everybody, this is Jay Nanda, San Antonio Metal Music Examiner, right outside Sunken Gardens Theater here on Friday, April 29, 2011, at the Bud Light Kiss Fest with uh, Seether, Puddle of Mud, All That Remains, and we're getting outside here with Mr. Mike Martin, guitarist from All That Remains, say hello to Internet Land there. Hi Internet Land. <laughs> and it's great to see you guys, and thanks for doing this, and yeah. it's, it's great to have you back here in San Antonio, another perfect sunny day. I like and, Texas. Yeah, I remember, I think, the last time you guys were here, if I'm not mistaken, was the 2009 uh, Mayhem Fest over yeah. at the AT&T Center. I was in the photo pit for that shoot, you guys. And I remember, just out of all the bands there, you guys tore up and had the biggest following of all the outdoor bands that day. I don't know if you recall yeah. that Thanks. show. but um, I do recall that An show. outstanding it was show. At the AT&T Center parking yeah, lot. Yeah, in the parking lot, right before the main bands went on stage inside. But yeah. Tell me about your guys' track record in San Antonio. How do you, what do you like playing about here? Any stories that stick out as far as memories? Uh, it's weird that we played Texas like a billion times in the last two years, and this is the first time in two years we played San Antonio. It's like we miss San Antonio every single time for some reason. But uh, uh, our fondest San Antonio memories are the White Rabbit. Yeah. Yeah. The show. That was one of the first places, like.
Japanese fans when this happened. Yeah, it was the last show of the whole tour. We were just taking the train, so we got in the club. We got in the club, we just went right from the train to the club. So that's when it happened. So we were just sound checking all the cabs, like they were starting to fall over, and like our tech was just like holding on to them. We like, I just looked at the sound guy, I was like, is this an earthquake? He's like, earthquake. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> so. Well, Phil kind of sounded, a, not, I don't want to say nonchalant about it, but I guess I've never been to Japan, so I don't know. You guys have been to Japan. And I hear a lot about the building codes, like they build the buildings to withstand. It's hard for us to imagine that, I guess. He was, those excited. Of us he was excited at first because it seemed like it was a cool thing. Like, yeah. oh, it's cool. Oh, you're a part of Earthquake and nobody got hurt. It wasn't a big deal. You just you know, felt the world shake and you were in Japan. It was cool. And then you found out about uh, how bad it was 250 miles away. And I was like, all right, this is scary and the nuclear reactor thing started happening and everyone was so we had a day off the next day so we weren't flying until the day after the day off so the day off was my birthday and uh, I was sitting in the hotel room fearing for my life the entire time while we were was on time the next day we got really lucky it was fine the airport was a little more hectic than usual but our flight was on time when we got out of there and the day off that we had we went to eat and stuff and everything was fine until the end I know I just saw some uh, footage of you guys uh, playing songs on a rock band. I've never played a rock band before, so I can't talk to play it. Obviously, I don't know what it was like. What was the best rock band uh, I would say Molly, you know, the first guitar hero. We first got six guitar hero, like five years ago. Molly was on the guitar, and she was kind of playing it, slowing all the cards down and learning them. So. Uh, and rock band's pretty much the same concept. So yeah. I would imagine if we don't, because none of us play it really right now. Examiner, examiner.com. We'll catch you next time.